Morning. So it's been a while since we've seen interesting moves in traditional assets, relative to crypto that is. Uh, yesterday, while the 10-year yield marches on to above 1.55%, equities retraced on pretty much all the gains since the beginning of this year. The S&P had an intraday low down more than 2.5% and is closing the session down 1.4%. The Nasdaq is closing down another 2%, so essentially down now 10% from the all-time high reached last week. Uh, and then gold isn't faring much better. It's now down below 1,700. There's no reason to gloat for crypto investors. Bitcoin is down as well, about 4.2% on the session at uh, 48,000. So for anybody who would have bought Bitcoin before February 2021, um, you're in a good position. But for anybody who bought at the all-time high, well, their holdings are now down about 16%. While Ethereum is showing strength in face of adversity, meaning it's outperforming relative to Bitcoin, most of the alts are down in USD term and also in Bitcoin terms, notably Polkadot and Cardano, which are faring worse than others. Interestingly enough, though, the Bitcoin dominance index actually fell, one of the rare times it's lower during a down move. Uh, would people be transitioning into alts? On a broader scale, while traditional markets might look scary and while we've risen to extended levels in crypto, one might argue at least, a piece of data from Glassnode, uh, in the same veins as the previous data shared before, shows that the illiquid supply of Bitcoin is growing. And that's a positive, right? It means that the number of hodlers is actually growing despite the sell-off. Away from price action and with regards to crypto news, if you haven't heard about it already, uh, Arthur Hayes, the founder of BitMEX, is discussing a surrender agreement with the U.S. prosecutor. Just a fascinating story to watch uh, unfold. Now, still in the U.S., the IRS has issued a paper clarifying the reporting requirements for, crypt, uh, for investors who bought crypto with fiat. Uh, and that's a welcome move, right? It gives more clarity helps larger players get involved and also solidifies the place of crypto in a global economy in a, and the traditional economy. And then lastly, a JP Morgan survey shows that 78% of institutional investors aren't likely to invest in crypto. Now, considering how long they've been wrong about Bitcoin, I can't wait to see how this uh, new piece of data plays out. A bon entendeur, salut. That's it for me today. I wish you a great day and a great trading day. If you haven't done so yet, please like, please subscribe. It helps with the visibility, but also means you'll be updated when new videos come.